Oh, that is very close, but going to be a very challenging putt to Amelia's point. Great start. Excellent. Four for no. This is all over it. And to Amelia's point, this is the easiest green and chain. I'll give us two whole locations that are kind. One <laughs> and eight so far. And the breeze has died down a little bit, so she can be looking to hit this right on the number. Another incredible wedge shot. There we go. That's how you do it. That'll be a birdie for Jennifer Cupcho. Her lie is fine here. Sometimes the stance can get affected by the pine straw. Have to really make sure you keep your balance. This 178 to the hole. On a good line, too. Needs to stay right. That is excellent. Wow, what a shot from Yalimi No here at the 17. Karen Stupples watching in Ji Chun. Yeah, this is a second shot into the second. Already a birdie on her card at the first. Former winner of the US Women's Open at Lancaster. Oh my hey. goodness, that was almost <laughs> the very best possible start she could have. She will have noticed that the balls have been receptive. What we've seen so far with wedge in hand, you can be able to control your distances still relatively early in the day. We saw the greens firm out yesterday. Say Young Kim for birdie. This should be very straightforward. She was pin high just to the right, so pretty much straight up that hill. Nicely done. A thing of beauty. Marrying the line and speed perfectly, and Say Young off to a good start. You hear her talking with her caddy. Gonna play it a little bit longer because it's back into the wind uphill. Just a beautiful iron player. And she just has a classic golf swing that is gonna serve her well for many years. Just a little tester. We saw that line that Say Young was on. It does wanna <laughs> move pretty good. And in the back of your mind, you're like, okay, don't go too far. And that'll give her another chance for a birdie after, go, after a birdie at the first. I'd say she is focused and ready for today. It's a good place to be in. As we take you to the ninth. And Nasa Hataoka. Another little delicate putt down the hill. I can't believe that got to the hole. <laughs> it looked like it stopped about 10 feet short. Oh, my goodness. Just getting familiar with the back of these greens here. Well, and this is another one of those hole locations that nicely done this time around that challenge the fall off areas and really test the players on how aggressive do you want to play into these holes. We're going to go to five. Say Young Kim. Speedy. Again? Whoa. Again? Paige, she actually got quite lucky because her tee shot actually went much farther left than where she ended up. It took a little bit of a ricochet down to there. So, all in all, well done, Say Young Kim. Birdie putt for Cheyenne Knight at the eighth. Look at a pickup speed. What a putt. got to be perfect in order to get close to this hole. Wow! <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> that was pretty perfect. And almost every single putt from this side of the hole has come up short. Just enough! Not Mo. <laughs> to 12. And this is Nasa Hataoka with her second shot, just from the the peak of the 
the fairway there. Another treacherous hole location, but NASA. Ah! This a lengthy birdie putt for Jin Young Ko. That's why she's number one in the world, George. I, 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 you could put 15 other players there, and nobody's going to do that well. Surprised that didn't go in. Such a good lag putt there from Jin Young Ko. Frida Schenholt. Okay. We may have seen as many birdies from off the green today than we've seen from on. <laughs> They're hard to come by, to Karen's point. But for now, just play your normal game plan. There's a good chance those leaders are going to come back to you a little bit. This good. is a good looking wedge here. And keep an eye on Lydia. You're going to get a chance to watch her. I was looking at Lydia Ko and Jin Young Ko as two potential chasers coming in this week. Good drive right down the middle. From Australia, Minji Lee. Now trying to win the same championship Kari did. That's a down the left center with a draw. Should be just fine. You know, and not only is the trophy sitting right there on the first tee, that 18th green is right there. The Coes, Jin Young and Lydia, with the birdie at the first. Boy, she hit that purely, leaking a little bit to the right. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Some big hitters in these final few pairs, but none have been better than that. Good answer. I also think it speaks to the attitude in her approach of today, in that she's not trying to protect her lead necessarily, mm. that she's not afraid to continue to push what has worked well for her this week. And I think for her, moving forward, it's going to be about staying in her own game. She and Minji play two different styles of golf. Lydia's going to have to use all her skill set here. You know, right there, it kind of turns and goes down the hill. This oh, looks this like is... lovely speed, Karen. Fabulous. Oh! Oh, my, my goodness. <laughs> Lydia Ko, take a bow. <laughs> Yeah. Yep, that final stretch. Get a little look here on the tee at 16. Celine Boutier. Now we'll be able to get an advanced look of what the leaders will be facing coming down the stretch. This is a tough hole location to get it close. But Celine's proving me wrong. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I've seen a couple of those already just started the shot. I thought maybe, Morgan. We're going to see a hole in one today, Terry? Uh, by the looks of things. Just a short time ago at the third, Lydia Ko trying to chase. Par three, 110 yards today. Nearly the ace. Morgan, certainly a name that those at the top will keep watching. It's the U.S. Women's Open presented by ProMedica being played here. Minji Lee started the day with the lead, birdied the first, short time ago at the second. Rolls in a long birdie putt. What a start for her final round, trying to win this championship for the first time. Didn't want to say anything to ruin her mojo. And isn't that typical of a major champ and most golfers who are su superstitious? Really gotten off to good starts, too, this week. Five under on this stretch, one through three, this part of the golf course. You can only imagine more so today with the championship on the line. Trying to draw that in. Yep. Mm, on the surface, but uh, distance away there. 
Bronte Law at six under. This her second and four from 143 a moment ago. Very good. I know she just hasn't quite been able to get the putts to fall, Kay, to start this round, but I feel like she's off to a decent start. It can be hard when you're playing up against Minji birding the first two holes. Much trickier putt, but after she made the putt at the second, I don't know if any putt could be considered tricky for her. She certainly didn't come out and start playing aggressively, Kay. She is sticking to her relatively aggressive game plan for the week. Already a winner this season early in the year, the Gamebridge LPGA. That's that's been the story. If she doesn't make it, she's been right there. They look good. Yeah. Yep, there it is. Joins that group there. Share a fourth. 